morning my beautiful people welcome back to another vlog today is honestly a very exciting day i have my final exam of my undergraduate degree today so after today i am like officially done school and done my degree and as long as i get all my grades back and they're good we're good to pass which is <laughs> very crazy um, but I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me today and a full day in my life and go do my last exam but I'm not gonna lie I woke up extremely exhausted I had an absolutely awful sleep I was just super anxious about like feeling that I'm like missing something like I'm going to miss an exam or miss submitting an assignment like there's just like this feeling that something like I, like I'm missing something and I don't think that I am but it just caused me to have an absolutely awful sleep which is why I ice rolled my face and did some under eye masks just to kind of help wake me up a little bit and like deep puff because I'm also feeling super puffy but I'm kind of feeling the start of a cold probably just from like the lack of sleep the past few days and just being under a little bit higher stress than usual the last few weeks with my final final exams so i have a little juice shot we're gonna take this morning just for a little immunity boost it is a ginger lemon juice shot from loop i just want to boost my immunity i'm also gonna take like extra vitamin c and stuff but cheers I thought I could do it all in one. Nope. That one is very gingery this morning. My eye is like watering a little bit. I'm also gonna take some extra vitamin C, but my exam today is from one till four. So the plan this morning is to just do a little bit of review. My last exam today is my finances exam. So it's a lot of just like plug and chug equations. I do actually have to finish up my cheat sheet for this exam. So I'm gonna finish up that. I'm also thinking I'm gonna make a coffee this morning. I have been pretty good recently of like not making coffees, but today is calling for a nice coffee because this girl is exhausted and it's also like a treat. It's my last exam day and I deserve it. So we are gonna make an iced latte this morning. I'm gonna make a little immunity smoothie this morning just to really kick anything that might be in my system. So lots of cinnamon, lots of turmeric, and lots of ginger to really just boost my immune system. exam and ending undergrad I thought I would get a little bit put together today just you know put a little bit of makeup on and like kind of look nice ask me why I have no clue but yeah I thought I'd put a little bit of makeup on and just feel a little bit more put together I also think it's really funny that these headbands are coming 
back in style because I used to wear these all the time growing up from like grade four probably till grade six and I got so made fun of for wearing them like kids would call me a cancer patient mind you I did wear them and like have them like unfolded and completely covering my hair but young kids are so mean <laughs> obviously now I'm just wearing like the smaller ones but I think they're so cute and I thought they were so cute growing up I feel like they don't really suit me much anymore but I also just like having my hair back for exams um, I like it out of my face so whether it's something like is pulling it back in a ponytail or in a claw clip or whatever it is I just like it back and out of my face because I think that's so annoying when I'm writing tests and exams I just want it out of the way but I'm just gonna do a little bit of light glowy makeup today just to feel a little bit more put together <laughs> For lunch today, I'm taking this leftover pizza to warm up on campus before my exam because my exam is one to four. So I'm gonna quickly, when I get to campus, warm this up and eat it. But this is the reality of exam week is lunch today is just going to be leftover pizza. All right, you guys, makeup is done. I am dressed and ready to go. Let's head out and go write this last exam of my undergraduate degree. Honestly, crazy. I really can't believe how I got here, but let's go. like that I am done my last exam I guess that's kind of it and I'm kind of done undergrad now I'm not gonna lie I was very kind of emotional on the way home on the shuttle I almost cried almost threw up was feeling all of the feelings I don't really know how to feel because it doesn't really feel real I think it's really gonna hit me come the fall when I don't go back to classes but I'm thinking we need something to celebrate I really am kind of craving donuts, but the vegan donut place that I like is just a little bit too far to go either walk or bike to after a three hour exam. I'm kind of just mentally and physically exhausted. So I'm thinking it might just be a Krispy Kreme kind of pickup, or if I kind of think of anything else on the way home, but we are definitely picking up some sort of dessert to celebrate. <laughs> We got it, we're going home. <laughs> I am home, we have secured the donuts, but first I feel like what I was saying as I was walking was a little bit incoherent, but basically that exam was awful. I still have a bit of a minor headache, but literally throughout the exam had a headache. My like back was in pain, I was like cramped over, was in mental and physical pain, and the exam was awful. But we're done, I... I'm officially done my undergrad degree. That was my last exam of my degree. As long as I passed that course, which I was in pretty good standing before the exam. So we're hoping that that goes fine. But honestly, got on the bus and was like, I don't really know how to feel. Like kind of wanted to cry, but also was nauseous from the exam. And just, I was feeling all the feelings and I still am kind of like I don't really know how I'm supposed to feel right now I don't think it's hit me that I like I'm not going back to school in the fall and like I, I'm not really gonna be in a lecture hall or in a classroom or writing a test or an exam in that sort of scenario ever again and it's just a really weird thing to think about and feel and I'm someone that's always loved school like hated being tested and stuff but I love the learning environment I love taking notes 
I have loved school, but it also has drained me significantly. So even like this whole week and like exam week leading up, I've been so kind of like at war with myself of like, oh, I'm so excited to be done, but like I'm also very sad to be finished and I don't really know how to feel. And I don't really want to cry right now because it's such a weird thing to cry about the fact that like you're done university and done your degree, but I'm also very like kind of sentimental about it. I don't know, like I'm kind of sad to be done and I don't know if I'm quite ready for this phase of my life to be over. But I also know that there's so many amazing things coming up and I should just... I, okay, I'm done. We are gonna taste one of these together. It feels weird. I mean, it feels like any other exam season to feel like relief, weight off my shoulders. Like I can just chill for a little bit and not really have to worry about anything. I got this Oreo donut, delicious. Um, and I haven't had Krispy Kreme donuts in forever, so I feel like it's gonna be like a little bit of a sugar overload and very sweet, but yay. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. My mom just called me right when I was about to do the taste test and just to check in and ask how everything went and also because like I'm going home for a few days but back to the taste test this looks delicious I'm very excited I set this spot exactly what I needed not gonna lie I probably should have made dinner first and then eaten this but this is what we are calling balance today because it is six o'clock I haven't had dinner I only had a little few slices of pizza for lunch, but I'm gonna make a good dinner tonight. The plan for the rest of the day, make dinner, literally do nothing. Probably read and watch TV and literally just chill, de-stress, decompress. I'm so excited to just like, not really have anything super stressful like I need to think about. Like obviously I still have work and like work things to do, but I'm like taking a break for the next few days and just calling it. <laughs> Dinner tonight is a little bit of a random combination of things of what's left over in my fridge because I'm heading home to my parents for a few days. But underneath all of this, there's some soba noodles. And then we have tofu, broccoli, red cabbage, red pepper, and onions and garlic as well with a little bit of soy sauce and seasoning. Um, super simple, but I just wanted like a comfort kind of stir fry for dinner. And then I'm also watching Friends. I feel like this is just my comfort show and I'm just gonna throw it on. I might watch a movie later tonight, but for now, this is what we have going on. Okay, you guys, I thought we would end off today's vlog with a little bit of a book update. I genuinely have not been reading just because it's been exams and I haven't had time, but now that I'm taking the next few days like completely off, my goal is to try and read at least three books. So first, my plan is to finish Air of Fire. I'm still only about, I'm just past halfway. Like I'm on page almost 300. So I feel like I'll finish this one up pretty quick. And then after that, what I'm thinking is I'll read These Violent Delights. Um, I've heard amazing things about this book and I've had it now for over a year. I got it last Christmas. Um, so plan is to read this and then after that either read the sequel Our Violent Ends 
or read kind of like a light romance book that I can kind of just like blast through. I have some like teen fiction and other romance novels back at my parents' house that I might just pick up and try one of those that I've never read. I think I still have some like Sarah Dessen there that is like older romance and I might try one of those. So that is kind of my plan for the third book. I'm not too sure yet. I feel like I might want a little bit of a break from like the fantasy genre. But like I said, I haven't been reading a ton recently, so still on Air of Fire. I am definitely going to be reading a lot, lot more now that school's done, and I'm kind of hoping that I can read at least 10 to 15 books this summer, even though it is a little bit of a busy summer, like there is a few things going on, but definitely I'm hoping to read like a lot more. But I'm gonna end off today's vlog here just because I'm genuinely feeling pretty exhausted from my exam and I think I just wanna like take a hot shower, watch a movie and like basically do nothing for the rest of the night. I'm just feeling pretty mentally and physically exhausted. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in my life vlog and my last kind of school day college vlog ever, which is craziness because I feel like like my YouTube channel and stuff really grew from my college content and like just being kind of in school like that's kind of when my channel grew so it definitely is a little bit of a bittersweet moment but everybody grows up and everybody has to move on with life and that's just kind of where I'm at now that I'm like done school and graduating but that is it from me I love you guys so so much and I will see you all in the next video bye